You know, when I turned on that camera like 10 seconds ago, I thought, you know, I'm just going to use some of the key points that I made out in my notes. I tried to talk this video out so I knew what I was going to talk about, but I just... I'm not going to do that. This is just going to be a raw video straight from the heart, from me to you. So today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video. I've never done a video like this. Um, usually it just revolves around beauty, fashion, favorites, um, the occasional rant or two, but this is a very personal video and I think I finally accepted it. And I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna go up the hill instead of go down the hill and hopefully my experience can help you guys have a better experience or anything. Ho hope you guys in general is the whole idea of this video. So I really, I don't want this to be a negative video by any means, not a way to call anyone out or do anything like that. This is just what I've learned from it and hopefully this is something maybe you could learn from what I've learned or something. I don't, again, raw video. So when school started, I had obviously different classes than last year. I noticed that I didn't really have many of the people that I knew in my class. Like my friends weren't really in my class. I kind of saw them on the weekends. I kind of texted them after school and stuff like that. So I didn't really see many of the people that I was, knew and felt comfortable with. So of course I didn't want to just be, just be alone and feel isolated from everyone. So obviously I started hanging out with different people. I started talking to more people. Um, and just, you know, making conversation like that. But of course, it's not the same as having like a Friday night with your best friend and just talking till 2 a.m. Um, it's not, it's not the same. So regardless, I started talking to different people and they weren't people like I've never seen before or anything. Like there were people that I knew of, but I just didn't, it wasn't completely people that I really knew very well. But again, I tried to know, get on a personal level with them just so, you know, the year went by better. And the people that I would talk to, um, they would make remarks that weren't the kindest. At first, I kind of thought of it as a joke. I thought, oh, you know, maybe that's just the way they are. And, you know, I still think that's probably, like, the way that they are, and just, like, in general, like, sarcastic and things like that. But, um, I, I learned after a month or two that, you know, it wasn't, um, just the way that they are, but they were just being flat-out mean. I feel like they found something new to peck out nearly every week, if that's even what they did. I have no idea. Just, just to things like that. You know, they, they weren't necessary. Like, they just, they weren't necessary. And I'm all for having fun and having good jokes and things like that. But then I started to accept the fact that, you know, this wasn't something that I should have to deal with. I really, I don't have to wake up in the morning and only to be crushed because I realize, oh, you know, today's a day that I'm going to talk to them and I don't want to, I don't want to go to school because, you know, I'm, I fear that they're just going to say something to me that I'm not going to handle well. So I ignored it. I kind of pushed it off to the side. I said, you know what, I'm just going to kind of put a wall and not let it get to me. And the wall just kept building and building and building until I felt like, you know, like I couldn't breathe. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't stand it anymore. And I didn't really tell anyone about it. Like I really, I just kind of kept it to myself because I didn't think it was something so important that, you know, I needed to bother someone else with. And then I realized, you know, I'm being stupid. Uh, that's like, that's not a way that I should feel because I should feel comfortable telling my friends, family, anything and everything. So I texted my best friend and I asked her for advice and she gave me really, really great advice. And I took it and I said, you know, I'm not gonna go downhill from here. I'm just gonna let myself go upward and kind of separate myself from these people. This isn't something that I'm going to tolerate. So I just slowly separated myself from these people and I went back to my old friend group and before I knew it, my phone started blowing up with more messages from my friends. Oh, do you want to hang out Friday? Oh, want to come over Saturday? I'm having a couple people over. You know, it just started getting so much better. And I found myself feeling so much happier and I didn't even know that I wasn't happy, I guess. Like, I was happy, but I wasn't at the happiest that I should have been ever. The worst is once you're done with the battle and you're just over it and you look back and you see, you know, I wasn't happy and you realize then that it took that long for you to realize that you weren't happy with something. I feel like that's the worst kind of pain you could deal with because then you start feeling really annoyed with yourself because you're like, how could I not have seen that? How could I have let myself go through that? Everybody makes mistakes. I'm refraining from singing the Hannah Montana song, but you learn from your mistakes. You grow from them because then you don't make those same mistakes again. I found the better of it. I found a better positive outlet. I started writing poetry again. I started reading more. I started listening to my music. I just found out different positive outlets that I was able to deal with my emotions. For me, talking to my best friend about what I was going through really helped me the most, I would say, because it always feels better to tell someone about it than write it down in a journal, at least. That's for me. I don't know if that's the same for everyone, but that's what I would assume for it to be. And as I'm wrapping up this video, the point of this video was not for anyone to pity me, 
feel sorry for me. Oh, say, oh, Celine, I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Like, that's not the point of this video. The point of it is that you guys can learn from it and make the decision that, you know, if you're not happy with your life, then you have to do something about it. You have to be the first one to take the first step forward. Because you, yeah, you, you're the only person that's going to realize that, you know, hey, I don't feel comfortable with this and you're the person that's going to take the stand. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different than what I normally post, but comment down below if you guys have any other video suggestions that are similar to this one. If you want any other advice videos that are specific to one topic, maybe I could help. Um, so yeah, if you ever need advice or anything, feel free to message me on Instagram or Tumblr. All my links will be down below as always. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye everyone!